Hello, this is Hoffman Trifle Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you guys to a new add-on, or a free add-on actually, called Camera Shakeify. As I mentioned, it's free and it works pretty good. Um, and once you've downloaded the link that I'll provide in the description below this video, you go to the normal channels of uh, installing it. You just go to Edit and then Preferences. And then you go to install and you just navigate to where you've uh, downloaded it onto your system. And then once you've done that, press install add-on and then put a check mark in the box. Let me pull that up. Shakeify. And put a check mark in the box and then you're good to go. And then once you've done that, and, and keep in mind that this add-on is for Blender 2.93 specifically, I think. I've tried it in 2.8. And it doesn't work. It seems to only work in 2.93. I wouldn't say above, just specifically 2.93. And once you've done that, you just click on your camera in your scene. And go to the camera icon on the uh, right side of the user interface of Blender. Click on that. And when you scroll down, you'll see a new uh, option here called Camera Shakeify. And let's go into the uh, camera view here by pressing zero on our keyboard. And we have Suzanne as our uh, example um, model here to showcase Shakeify. And it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Just click on this plus button and it automatically has presets for you. And it's got uh, a good amount of them and they will all work great once you've uh, added a preset to just press play on your keyboard and you can see how it operates and this is how it it's uh, it's done for all the uh, presets for Shakeify let's stop that go back to our the beginning of our um, time our time here and you can have you know there are different parameters that you can adjust the influence the scale uh, the speed and the offsets. Now let's go through these one at a time. If you increase the influence, that's going to increase the movement of the camera preset. Let's click on that and type in 20. Enter. You can see uh, the influence by this yellow uh, rectangular outline here that shows you how much of an offset or influence the uh, Shakeify add on has on your camera. Let's press play and it really goes pretty wild because we've increased it to 4. Let's stop this, go back to the beginning. Put this back to 1, enter. And the scale does the same thing. Pretty much just bump this up to 5, enter. Let's press play. You can see it does a lot more movement with the camera. It's, it's, it's pretty nice. It's not, not bad. I've seen other add-ons, another add-on uh, that is a paid add-on that has does the same thing but it has more options to it uh, but for something that's free as this is this isn't bad at all now if you want to pretty much um, have the camera shake for a certain amount of frames you have to click on manual now I would have assumed that frame offset would have done that automatically but I've experimented with that and it doesn't do that at all but to have the camera shake maybe for like maybe the for first 40 frames of, of your animation, just click on manual timing. And then you just click on this little dot here to set the keyframe for at 1, move it to 40. And let's bump this up to, let's say, 10. Enter. Click on the keyframe. Let's see what happens. So play and it moved in this keyframe it didn't move much because our, our, uh, we, what we've set it to is not that high but if you notice that the camera moves but when it's, once it gets past 40 it stops so that works pretty well so all this works great let me click out these keyframes by pressing hover my mouse over the timeline and pressing delete on my keyboard and that deletes it let's delete it I had to delete that but all these presets, they're all great. You can have as many presets as you want. And there's another option here at the bottom. Let me turn off manual timing. You'll see at the bottom here, 
Is it still at the bottom? Here it is, yeah. If you have any issues where uh, the presets aren't working as advertised by the uh, the name of them, like, like Investigation is there, where you have Spaceship Shake, click on that, press play, and you have that effect on the camera. If you have a lot of uh, presets lined up for different actions that you want the camera to do and it's acting kind of weird, which apparently it really does that, but if it does, you just press this button that says fix all camera shakes and they'll clean up the camera shakes so they can work effectively. So yeah, that's today's Blender Quick Tip, the free camera shakeify add-on. And once again, I hope this was helpful to those of you who are watching. And once again, I thank you guys for watching the channel. Pre really appreciate you, uh, appreciate you guys. Thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.